go straight to here, to Ferniac Street. Shut up! Right. Shut up, leave me alone! I'm a little early for most of the state parks that seem to have some visual interest for uh, landscape photographers, but uh, I'm right on time for the beautiful light. I was, as I was leaving one of these parks, I couldn't get in yet. I uh, passed a little bayou scene, so I parked the Parked the truck and I'm headed back up the road. I don't know. There's the, tr There's the truck. I don't know, 100 meters or so to uh, see how convenient this bike path side opportunity looks. And the light is happening. So fine. That's roughly what I've got going on right there. Cell Hill Preserve. I guess it's a state park, Santa Rosa Beach, Florida. I've come across this this pond with some lily pads. Let's see if we can pull something together by standing on this bridge and either looking over or through the rails. got the polarizer on. We'll see if it makes a lot of difference. But I've got a lot of reflection in this water and it may work out well to, to try to minimize it and or to try to maximize it. We're just going to look and explore. So I look at this more and more, I'm, <laughs> I'm less and less infatuated with it. So let's see what we can pull from this one location. Maybe. He's on down the trail here. I've got the 120 macro lens on here, but I'm not shooting macro. I'm using it for the reach to sort of minimize the intrusion of these vertical supports on these bridge rails. Um, so hopefully they're out of frame on right and left. I'm shooting horizontal, so um, may make it easier on myself by shooting vertical. I'm going to cover it both ways. Let's just see what we can come up with here. Yeah, the polarizer is helping quite a bit minimize the reflections in the water. Let's see. I think we can come back down to ISO, ISO 100. Light's getting pretty bright. I'm going to have to go to Bulb. I'm on a shaky bridge. I'm going to get the uh, cable release ready, and then I'm going to stand very still. All right, we're at Bulb. We're going to go, I think, four seconds to begin with. Let's see. Did I move? That's pretty nice. I'm going to have the exposure. It'll be one stop darker. So that was four seconds. One stop less is two seconds. Here we go. That's pretty nice. Pretty dang nice. Now I'm taking the polarizer out of it. Not completely, just mitigating it a little bit. The exposure shouldn't take quite as long. I'm going to go one second. Very nice. 
I'm just going to play a bit here. I'm liking all of that. I guess into each life a little rain must fall. I, I have a, a stuck filter. I have a polarizer filter that is stuck to a step down adap adapter ring. And I've never had one stuck like this before. It appears to be defeating the uh, filter wrenches I have. And unless I want to shoot 120 lens on everything that needs polarizing I'm SOL at least at least when it comes to the Fujifilm GFX S camera now being the clean living boy scout that I am I'm a big believer in redundancy. And so I can do whatever I want to do with the Canon cameras. Just not as, not as user friendly. Well, that fellow that I thought was going flying with a parasail and a chainsaw on his back. His, he bent over to straighten out his canopy, I guess, in preparation to take off, and his, his motor quit. So I didn't want to, I didn't want to have to come back next week because I witnessed that photo evidence of what happened, so I quit. Maybe he will too. Hi. This is Navarre Marine Park. Just, uh, halfway between Pensacola, Florida and Port Walton Beach. And we're coming on to the, the light that's just perfect. I don't know what that light's gonna shine on when I get down here to the water's edge, but maybe it'll shine on you and me. <laughs> well, okay. Nice curve. What about the background? Let's walk down the strand here. It's striking me most right now is there's no real center of interest for it, but the uh, the light passing through the tops of these grasses is forming some interesting. visuals. Yes or no? I don't know. I'd like to stay and see if he pulls it off this time, but I'm not gonna, I guess squander is the word, squander my beautiful light on, waiting for him. Good luck, brother, good luck. Well, I'm, I'm on the Gulf side of Navarre Beach, and I've got, I don't know if this is a tidal pool, occupying a depression in the sand here or not, but it may it may it may lend some subtle foreground interest with nice pastel colors and shapes. And it seems to uh, sort of parallel 
the cloud bank. So I'm going to set up here, see what we can see what we can discover as that sun starts to light up the sky. Well, I think we found something very nice and uh, came together a little easier than I thought it would. Just pinched the heck out of my finger with this other tripod. Uh, can you see it? That's a leading line. That's a leading line. And we, way down there in the distance is a pier, which is another leading line, but it's sort of just out there. It's not as strong as the, as the two elements in the front. So, this guy's not waiting for us, so let's get it going. Right now, I've got some people dotting the beach, and that's okay. If I decide I don't like them later, if I get a look at the photograph, I'm just sick Adobe on them. Photoshop will make magic happen. Let's see if we can line up a shot here. Looking pretty good because the, uh, the water on the beach is just reflecting what's going on in the sky. So two, two, two for one. I'm gonna focus about a third of the way in, which is, I don't know, I'm not going to worry too much about depth of field. F11 should carry this. We'll see what the, see what the shutter speed means with the water moving. Nice. I'm going to put a uh, neutral density on here and try to uh, smooth out the Gulf of Mexico. That's what I'm going to do. By the way, I solved my stuck filter and adapter ring problem. Anybody wants to know how I did that, ask me in the comments. We'll try this three stop filter by breakthrough. See if this gets us where we want to go. Get to the, to the point where the light's changing so rapidly, if your exposures are real long, all your base data is gone by the time you get to look at the next exposure. So that's, that's very nice. I'm going to go to ISO 200, which will effectively give me another stop of exposure. I'm going to go for 20 second exposure. Here we go. Another 10 second exposure at ISO 400. It's a 50 millimeter focal length. F11. Okay, that, that's nice. I could put the polarizer on here and kill some of that reflection, but I don't want it. I want what's happening in the sky reflected in this tidal pool. So uh, I think that, that gets me where I want to go. Take a look. And yes, I am talking to you and three fourths of the way through an exposure. Right about now. That's it. Gets no better than that. lovely end of the second day on the Red Deck Riviera. Tomorrow morning early, I'm going to uh, follow the Panhandle Road. I guess it's Highway 98, historic Highway 98, west towards Pensacola. I went to uh, photography A school in the Navy in Pensacola, so we'll see how it's changed. All right, tomorrow starts the third day. I'll see you then. Thanks for being with me. Oh, by the way, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. I'll see you next week. What time does the sun come up, Mike? Gee, I don't know. Around 7, I think.
but there's fog. Fog has moved in. Pray for me, children.